Hey, are you getting excited about Christmas? How many of you have already started decorating? I have, but I haven't put my tree up yet. But today I've got five new projects to add to your decor. I got most of my supplies from Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Hobby Lobby. So I hope you enjoy them. Sit back and relax and let me introduce myself. Hey everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you click and subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or even a comment. So don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. This first project I am so excited about bringing you. It is called my Merry Christmas sign. I went to Home Depot and looked at their little cart of all their wood. And this piece I had to cut off. There were some splintery pieces and they gave it to me for free. For free. I used some Minwax Dark Walnut. And boy, did it soak it up. It's really dark, which I really is ex am excited about. I like it. And then the Merry Christmas letters, I got those at home, no, at Hobby Lobby, and they were 50% off. Of course, right now, everything is 50 off. And so they were like $2. Can you believe it? And they are so well made. The little reindeer I got at, I think, yeah, Dollar General. And these these letters are just gorgeous. I love them. So let's get those hot glued on. So if you know me already, if you've been watching, I don't like things always so perfectly straight. And if you notice, my Merry Christmas has got a little crookedness to it but I like that. And so I just hot glued the deer on and that's it. I mean, I could have used this for one of my 60 second videos. It is so easy to put together. You can hang it if you want. I think I'm gonna put this one in my bathroom on a shelf. It is so easy and beautiful and I love that it's a neutral color. You could add a pretty uh, colorful bow if you like, but I just love this and I hope you do too. For my next project, it's called the Mary Sign. And I got this piece of wood at Home Depot. It was, I think it's a one by one. I stained it with the Minwax Dark Walnut. And I think it was like 26 cents is what she charged me. Something like that, like not over 30 cents. I'm gonna be using some of the ornaments from Dollar Tree. I can't decide what to use, but we'll come back to that in a little bit. And I'm going to take these letters that I purchased at Walmart. They're a dollar a piece. Super high quality. I love how they're finished. And so we're going to hot glue those right on. And at this point, we pretty much have a blank canvas. Here's where your creativity comes in and how to make it your own. You can add all different kinds of things on the end. I've got my ornaments, I've got some pine cones, I've got some other things, and I like that glitter ball with the um, neutral gingham. I've got some branches. So here's where you can just make it your own. I think I'm gonna be using this Christmas ornament with the green gingham. I love the little touch of color, and I love green. That's my favorite color, and I especially love it for Christmas. So I decided to put that at the beginning. I'm checking out my thumb, look how weird it is. I guess it's double jointed. Well, I don't know, I have weird thumbs. But anyway, now you're gonna be looking at my thumb. And I'm gonna be using just these little um, smaller pine cones at the end. But like I said, you can add whatever you like to your piece and make it your own. I think it turned out beautiful, super high end, and I just love it. You can put it on your mantle or anywhere you like. So I hope you enjoyed this and you get to make yours today. 
I love this project so much. It's called the Reindeer Wreath and I already got this wreath. It was pre-made from Hobby Lobby. It was $8.99, but of course I got it for $4.50 when it was half off. I thought it was a pretty good deal because it was already made and I didn't have to buy any of the little pieces to put together. So I went ahead and went with the pre-made this time. I got the little reindeer at Dollar General for $2. Most of my ribbon I get at Hobby Lobby when it's around 75% off at the end of the season. And then this uh, plaid ribbon I got at Dollar Tree. So I'm decided on using the polka dot and I'm just gonna make a shoestring bow. If you don't follow me over at Instagram, I do some fun stuff over there, so follow me over there. And my bow is pretty easily put together. I'm just gonna hot glue the reindeer on and it's gonna be almost completed. Isn't his nose so cute? I almost decided to pull that silver little nose off and add a red pom-pom. I just couldn't find my red pom-poms, but I do like this because it kind of stays with the neutral theme, but add that red pom-pom if you like. I love that this wreath is neutral and of course you can change up the bow and add any bow according to your decor. But look, you can switch on the back of the reindeer and his antlers light up. Is that the cutest or what? Remember I got that at Dollar General, so run out there and grab it, it's $2. So let's see, the wreath was $4.50, the Rudolph was $2, and the bow was, well I already had it, so let's go with a dollar with that. So the whole thing is about seven or eight dollars. Seriously, if you saw this in a high-end store, I am sure you could get 30 to 40 dollars for this. So I hope you love it. I hope that you're able to put yours together and uh, you can find the wreath at Hobby Lobby. So enjoy making your reindeer wreath today. My next project is snowman jars. And this is so easy and every single thing that I have is from Dollar Tree. Every single item, I believe. Oh, there's Santa. Hi Santa, are you checking in? <laughs> so I got these ornaments at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use the, what is that? The uh, Buffalo check. They have these little craft bottles and then I'm going to just take these bottles out and we're gonna fill them with some of the vase fillers. I got the white and the silver. wanted to take just a second to say thank you. I have 250 subscribers. I'm so excited. It's not that many, but hey, I just started and I appreciate everybody subscribing. It just is so much fun. So anyway, I'm pouring these. Well, there's Frosty. Oh my goodness. Hi, how are you today? Are you checking in too? You never know who's going to pop in. <laughs> so I fill these jars with the fillers and I'm going to hot glue them top to top. Now, in my very first video was in, at Halloween, I made the exact same thing using candy corn. And so I'm doing this now with some fillers for Christmas. I thought he would be a cute snowman. So now we hot glued the hat on, and now I'm just gonna take some of the green burlap ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree. Yes, I said everything was from Dollar Tree. So I wrapped it first, and then I took another little piece to make his scarf. And I love it that it has the wire in there because it looks like he's in some heavy snow, heavy wind, and it's just kind of flowing out to the side. I love that, so cute. I noticed on the ornament that there's these little curly cue thingies, I guess some tendril type thingies. So I kind of pull those out and make a little more detailed up there. So I couldn't decide if I wanted him to have a face or not. Is this going to be like a faceless 
snowman. But I had a candy cane uh, laying around right where I was working and some of the Dollar Tree buttons. And so I just cut a piece off of the candy cane. That's going to be his nose. He's going to be a little different. He's not going to have a carrot. He's going to have a peppermint nose. So I thought that was really cute. And then for the mouth, I just grabbed some Dollar Tree chalkboard paint and just really quickly threw on a little mouth. Nothing perfect, nothing crazy, just a little bitty mouth. And here he is in the snowstorm, ready to go. He's all bundled up with his scarf. I love the little peppermint nose. It's kind of different, kind of fun. And I just love that you can unscrew the jars and add any other type of filler that you want. And so what do you think? I think this is really great. One, two, three, about four or five dollars to make this. So have fun with your snowman today. And for my last project today is Santa Frame. And everything I got is from Dollar Tree, except there's a couple of things from Hobby Lobby. This is a willow pick from Dollar Tree. So beautiful. It's got all the snow on it. Uh, some ribbon from Hobby Lobby. Of course, it's half price, but I did get that at the end of the season. And so I got the frame from Dollar Tree with the little wooden beads. Grab those when you see them. This little ornament I got from Dollar Tree, and it sort of kind of fell apart as I was checking out, and the lady gave it to me for 50 cents. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Just click that red button down below. I would love it if you'd subscribe. Thank you so much. So I'm going to take the frame apart and I'm going to use this striped uh, scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. I got it for 25 cents. The reason that I'm putting it in the middle is if you notice, the edges of the paper have that snow look. and I love that, but I'm not using the whole piece. So um, I just needed just the striped part. So let's get that glued in. Let's see if we can fix this little sad ornament that fell apart. The little Merry Christmas popped off, Santa popped off, and the little sled part, I'm just going to move it to the side. Let's try to fix this pom-pom and the little greenery on there. Super easy, just hot glue it back on. I actually used another um, pom-pom that I had. I liked it better, and so we're going to hot glue that and the little greenery. about repainting his beard and his face and his nose but I'm like no he looks good he looks good the way he is so let's just pop him on there he's kind of kind of fit on the outside which I love and um, now we're just gonna add a cute little bow I almost put on the Merry Christmas but I just didn't like it I'm gonna use that for something else so we're gonna use a little bow on there the plaid bow and then some of the willow pieces Santa hey we're making a little present just for you. Thanks for dropping in. I'm cutting just a few pieces to add a little flare at the bottom. And then we're going to add a little bow just right on top. I was telling you earlier that I get my ribbon usually at Hobby Lobby after season is over um, if any's left over you know I know some of the good stuff is not gonna be at the 75 or 90 percent off but sometimes you can get lucky and this uh, ribbon I got for I think it was 75 off so it was like a dollar something lovely and so it goes perfect with this little frame I love it it's beautiful yay So tell me, where would you put this in your home? Would you put it on a shelf, your bathroom, your kitchen? 
I think it would just be great in a coffee bar. That would be super cute. So I hope you enjoyed the Santa frame. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my five projects that I made with Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Hobby Lobby items. I hope that you're able to find all of these pieces. Oh yeah, I forgot those letters were from Walmart. And so I hope you enjoyed everything you saw today and get out there and get your home decorated. It's a great time to be with your family. And thank you again for subscribing. And I'm glad that you're a subscriber and a friend. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below. I'll see you next time on another episode of Susie's Stuff, KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.